of our neighbors in Cambodia, experience has taught us that the first thing any tyrannical regime would do is to try to uh, silence its critics. And uh, it has occurred repeatedly, not only in Cambodia, but also in Vietnam and China. While condition in Cambodia has improved significantly since its dark and horrific days during the Pol Pot reign of terror, the Cambodian people are still a long way from being able to enjoy freedom or justice. Reports from the State Department as well as various NGOs indicate probable political motivation behind many killings and disappearances of people who hold op opposing views to that of the Cambodian government. Perpetrators of these killings and, and disappearances have not been brought to justice. The dire fate of many political refugees who have been forcibly repatriated by the government of Cambodia is another source of concern to me. The Cambodian needs to recognize the rights of refugees under international laws and agreements. I especially want to commend Mrs. Mu Sakua for her courage in, in your fight for equality and justice, especially uh, on behalf of the uh, women of Cambodia. I hope that members of the Vietnamese National Assembly also have the courage as you to speak out in the name of justice as you have. I admire your dedication and your tireless effort to help uh, your people. I also want to thank the panelists. You have dedicated a good part of your lives for the cause of human rights, freedom, and justice. I hope your dedication and tireless efforts will be rewarded with a free and uh, and uh, prosperous Cambodia. Uh, I would love to remain here for the hearing, but I have a meeting with the White House uh, medical czar to discuss the health care reform. So uh, we'll, I actually leave it right we're, all, we're all happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> Almost so all. Yeah, listen carefully. <laughs> <laughs> Give them some advice. <laughs> well, thank you very much. And, and